My name is Jackie Schlicker. I'm a potter. I make all kinds of things out of clay, things you can eat off of and things that you can decorate your house with. I like to use a clay that is white or dark, and I use um, colored slips, which are um, clay that's real thin, you can paint with it. So I paint that over the clay, and then what I like to do is a technique that's called scraffito. And I take a tool and I carve through the paint and it shows the clay beneath it. That's one of the techniques I use. And I also just put regular glaze on, beautiful glazes, coppers and uh, blues and greens and all different colors. This is a piece I made using Scraffito. This has, uh, well, I thought I could show you on this, but that's the white clay. That's the white clay I was telling you that I use. And I first brushed on here black clay paint, and then I put red and yellow, and then I carved these little dashes all around, and it shows the white clay beneath. I started pottery uh, about eight years ago. I had never even thought about making pottery until one day um, I decided to take a class. And next thing I knew, I wanted to do it again and again and again and again. And now I have a studio and I go and I make lots of different things. I often have no idea what a piece is gonna look like when I, when I start working in clay and especially when I'm doing scraffito. I have a bell here that I made. I made a lot of these bells, but I didn't make any two alike. I made these for the holidays and some of them were, um, holiday themed and others were like this. They were just a little city. Okay, so the advice I would give to you is just have fun, just play. It's not gonna be a horrible thing if you make a mistake. Clay can be crumpled up and rolled up and you can start all over again. And if you just keep going, keep having fun, keep looking for the excitement, then you'll enjoy it. Hi, my name is Andrea, and I'm an art teacher with Tennessee Craft. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Jackie as she talked to us about using clay to create vessels, things like cups, mugs, platters, things we use every day. I especially enjoyed hearing about her surface designs. Jackie uses a process called scraffito. This involves her painting the surface of her unfired clay with colored slip, that's like a slurry of liquid clay, allowing it to dry and then scratching her designs into the surface. We're gonna take a tip from Jackie and try that today for ourselves. You'll just need a few things. Air dry clay, some craft paint and a brush, and some tools that you can find around the house. I've got some plastic utensils and toothpicks here. Anything like that will work great. To get started, we're going to roll our clay into a ball and then flatten it out until it's about a fourth inch thick. Now, if you have a bigger piece of clay, you might want to use a rolling pin, but my hands will work great for what we're doing today. Once I've done that, I'm going to poke a hole just in case I decide I want to use this as a pendant or an ornament later. At this point, this is going to require some dry time. This is too wet for the next step, and I'll show you what I mean. Right now, the clay is soft and pliable. What we want it to be is firm. It's still not completely dry, but it's almost there. This is how we know when we're ready to start. What we want to do then is take the paint and apply a layer to the surface of our clay. You might want to do two coats. And if that's the case, you're just going to let that dry and then apply a second coat. It'll be a lot darker, so it'll look like this. 
Then we're going to take our tools and we're going to begin to make marks with those tools. Before you get started, you can take a look at the different edges and you can kind of get an idea of what kind of marks they'll make. I'm going to start with this fork and run it through to get my designs. Once you've created a design that you like, allow your clay to dry completely. Then if you would like to use it for an ornament or a pendant, you can take a cord, run it through, and hang it, either around your neck or somewhere special in your home. You just learned how to do the process of scraffito. For more information about this activity, including step-by-step -step instructions, tips, and tricks, please visit tennesseecraft.org.